Politkovskaya will be turned into Gungadze and a finger will be pointed at President Putin. This warning was published by a Russian media outlet a year before the notorious murder of the opposition journalist. The script with Kuchma and Gangadze and Yushchenko's Maidan is expected to be copied exactly and replicated in Moscow. The role of journalist Gangadze is assigned to Anna Politkovskaya from Novaya Gazeta. After the physical liquidation of the journalist, the entire political bloc supporting President Putin will be discredited. This will be followed by mass protests in Moscow and throughout Russia. No matter how convincing it all seems, no matter how solid the arguments are, there always remains the question. Since the days of ancient Rome, who will benefit? Well, Putin does not benefit from the death of Polykovska or Litvinenko simply because he is a normal person. He is a good leader, and these events can only be directed against them, just as it, the Gangazi murder, was directed against Kuchma. The special operation Politkovska Litvinenko misfired. Moscow's Red Square did not turn into the Ukrainian Maidan, but geopolitics is a tight game and the bids are high. The use of a wild card for provocation is a favorite trick in the hands of cheating players. Will Russia, a country with a millennium statehood, be able to withstand the break and streak of colored revolutions? Will the free Ukraine be truly independent? Will those who still continue to believe in the clean hands of the Maidan leaders learn the truth? Will those who deceive the people repent and those who allowed themselves to be deceived see? Will the cursed days be followed by days of repentance? Time will tell. Once again, a holiday, the anniversary of the revolution, but people are nowhere in sight. Why? Because of bad weather? Because they are bored? So much lying is suffocating. They are so perverted in their profession to be friends of the people, the young people, and all goodness that they themselves believe in their sincerity. And how many idiots still believe that there was a great shift in history towards something new, hitherto unprecedented. Ivan Bunin, Cursed Days. <laughs>